Mr. President, are we in a quorum call? We are. I ask that uh, further proceedings on the quorum call be dispensed with. Without objection. <clears throat> Mr. President, my office uh, submitted our latest offer to the majority leader last night at 7.10 p.m. and offered to work through the night uh, to find common ground. The majority leader staff informed us they'd be getting back to us this morning at 10 a.m., despite the obvious time crunch we all have. It's now 2 p.m., and we've yet to receive a response to our good faith offer. Now, I'm concerned about the lack of urgency here. I think we all know we're running out of time. This is far too much at stake for political gamesmanship. We need to protect the American families and businesses from this looming tax hike. Everyone agrees that that action is necessary. In order to get things moving, I've just spoken with the majority leader. I also placed a call to the vice president to see if he could help jumpstart the negotiations on his side. The vice president and I have worked together on solutions before, and I believe we can again. I want my colleagues to know that we'll keep everyone updated. The consequences of this are too high for the American people to be engaged in a political messaging campaign. I'm interested in getting a result here. I was here all day yesterday. As I indicated, we submitted our latest proposal at 7 p.m. last night. We're willing to work with whoever, whoever can help. There's no single issue that remains an impossible sticking point. The sticking point appears to be a willingness and interest or frankly the courage to close the deal. I want everyone to know I'm willing to get this done, but I need a dance partner. Mr. President. Leader. We have been negotiating now for 36 hours or thereabouts. We did have conversations last night that ended late in the evening between staffs. This morning, uh, we've been trying to come up with some counteroffer to my friend's proposal. We have been unable to do that. I've had a number of conversations with the President, and at this stage, we're not able to make a counteroffer. The Republican leader has told me that, and he's just said here that he's working with um, the Vice President, and he and the Vice President, um, I wish them well. In the meantime, and I will continue to try to come up with something, but at this stage, uh, I don't have a counteroffer to make. Perhaps as the day wears on, I will be able to. It would, I, I will say this, I think that the, the Republican leader has shown absolutely good faith it's just that uh, we're, we're apart on some pretty big issues. Under the previous order, there are now two minutes of debate prior to a vote on the Bear nomination. Who yields time? The question is on the nomination. All is. Is there a sufficient second? There appears to be. There is. Clerk will call the roll. Mr. Akaka. Mr. Alexander. Ms. Ayotte. Mr. Barrasso. Mr. Baucus. Mr. Begich. Mr. Bennett. Mr. Bingaman. Mr. Blumenthal.
Mr. Blunt. Mr. Bozeman. Mrs. Boxer. Mr. Brown of Massachusetts. Mr. Brown of Ohio. Mr. Burr. Ms. Cantwell. Mr. Cardin. Mr. Carper. Mr. Casey. Mr. Chambliss. Mr. Coates. Mr. Coburn. Mr. Cochran. Ms. Collins. Mr. Conrad. Mr. Coons. Mr. Corker. Mr. Cornyn. Mr. Crapo. Mr. Dement. Mr. Durbin. Mr. Inzi. Mrs. Feinstein. Mr. Franken. Mrs. Gillibrand. Mr. Graham. Mr. Grassley. Mrs. Hagen. Mr. Harkin. Mr. Hatch. Mr. Heller. Mr. Hoven. Mrs. Hutchison. Mr. Inhofe. Mr. Isaacson. Mr. Johans. Mr. Johnson of Wisconsin. Mr. Johnson of South Dakota. Mr. Carey. Mr. Kirk. Ms. Klobuchar. Mr. Cole. Mr. Kyle. Ms. Landrew. Mr. Lautenberg. Mr. Leahy. Mr. Lee. Mr. Levin. Mr. Lieberman. Mr. Luger. Mr. Manchin. Mr. McCain. Mrs. McCaskill. Mr. McConnell. Mr. Menendez. Mr. Merkley. Ms. Mikulski. Mr. Moran. Ms. Murkowski. Mrs. Murray. Mr. Nelson of Nebraska. Mr. Nelson of Florida. Mr. Paul. Mr. Portman. Mr. Pryor. Mr. Reed of Rhode Island. Mr. Reed of Nevada. Mr. Risch. Mr. Roberts. Mr. Rockefeller. Mr. Rubio. Mr. Sanders. Mr. Schatz. Mr. Schumer. Mr. Sessions. Mrs. Shaheen. Mr. Shelby. Ms. Snow. Ms. Stabenow. Mr. Tester. Mr. Thune. Mr. Toomey. Mr. Udall of Colorado. Mr. Udall of New Mexico. Mr. Vitter. Mr. Warner. Mr. Webb. 
Mr. Whitehouse. Mr. Wicker. Mr. Wyden. Senators voting in the affirmative. Akaka, Bennett, Brown of Ohio, Cantwell, Carper, Coons, Franken, Johnson of South Dakota, Klobuchar, Lee, Merkley, Murray, Reed of Nevada, Rockefeller, Schatz, and Udall of New Mexico. Senators voting in the negative. Burr, Coates, Coburn, Corker, Cornyn, Grassley, Isaacson, Kyle, McConnell, and Wicker. Mr. Conrad. Mr. Conrad. Aye. Mrs. Gillibrand. Mrs. Gillibrand. Aye. Mrs. Hagen. Mrs. Hagen, aye. Mr. Shelby. Mr. Shelby, no. <coughs> Ms. Landrew. Ms. Landrew, aye. Mr. Tester, Mr. Tester, aye. Mr. Bingaman, Mr. Bingaman, aye. Mr. Paul, Mr. Paul, aye. Ms. Mikulski. Ms. Mikulski, aye. Mr. Manchin, Mr. Manchin, aye. Mr. Casey, Mr. Casey, aye. 
Margarita, Rhode Island, aye. Mr. Schumer. Mr. Schumer, aye. Mr. Nelson. Mr. Nelson of Florida, aye. Mr. Whitehouse, aye. Mr. Wyden. Mr. Wyden, aye. Mr. Risch. Mr. Risch, no. Mr. Hoven. Mr. Hoven, no. Mr. McCain. Mr. McCain, no. Afternoon. Afternoon. Mr. Nelson of Nebraska, aye. Mr. Luger. Mr. Luger. Aye. Mr. Cochran. Mr. Cochran. No. Mr. Conrad. Mr. Brown of Massachusetts. Aye. Mr. Crapo. Mr. Crapo, no. Mr. Udall. Mr. Udall of Colorado, aye. Ms. Stabenow. Ms. Stabenow, aye. Mr. Blunt, no. Mr. Warner, Mr. Warner, aye. Sanders, Mr. Sanders, aye. Mr. Bacchus. Mr. Bacchus. Aye. Mr. Webb. Mr. Webb. Aye. Mr. Lieberman. Mr. Lieberman. Aye. Mrs. McCaskill. Mrs. McCaskill. Aye. 
Ms. Collins. Ms. Collins, aye. Mr. Johnson. Mr. Johnson of Wisconsin, aye. Mr. Moran. Mr. Moran, aye. Mr. Bozeman. Mr. Bozeman, no. Mr. Durbin. Mr. Durbin, aye. Mr. Hatch. Mr. Hatch, no. Mr. Vitter, Mr. Vitter, no. Mr. Inzi, Mr. Inzi, no. Mr. Menendez. Mr. Menendez, aye. Ms. Snow. Ms. Snow, aye. Mr. Cardin. Mr. Cardin, aye. Mr. Blumenthal. Mr. Blumenthal, aye. Ms. Murkowski. Ms. Murkowski, aye. Mr. Cole. Mr. Cole, aye. Mrs. Shaheen. Mrs. Shaheen, aye. Mr. Baggage, Mr. Baggage, aye. Mr. Graham, Mr. Graham, aye. Mrs. Boxer, Mrs. Boxer, aye. Mr. Inhofe, Mr. Inhofe, no. Mr. Sessions, no. Mr. Thune, no. Pryor, Mr. Pryor, aye. Mr. Corker, aye. Mr. Levin, Mr. Levin, aye. Mr. Toomey, Mr. Toomey, aye. Mr. Barrasso, no. Mr. Barrasso, no. Mr. Heller, Mr. Heller, aye. Mr. Harkin, Mr. Harkin, aye. Mrs. Hutchison, Mrs. Hutchison, Aye, Mr. Roberts. Mr. Roberts, no. Ms. Ayotte. Ms. Ayotte, aye. Mrs. Feinstein. Mrs. Feinstein, aye.
Mrs. Hutchison, no. Are there any senators in the chamber who wish to vote or to change his or her vote? Hearing none, uh, the ayes are 64, the nays are 26, and the nomination is confirmed. Mr. Leader. Can we have order, please? Yes. Order, please. Mr. Leader. Mr. President, we uh, had a brief colloquy, the Republican leader and I, before the vote. Now that everyone's on the floor, I'll elaborate a little bit. We have one more vote today. Then we're both going to have our respective caucuses. Uh, we hope there will be an announcement after that, but we'll have to wait and see. Over the last 24 hours, we've been working with Senator McConnell's staff and Senator McConnell to craft legislation to shield middle-class families from huge tax increases that could pass both chambers on a bipartisan basis. But I want to be clear that there are still serious differences between the two sides. I'm only going to talk about one. We've made a lot of progress, and I said earlier today I appreciate very much uh, some of McConnell's good faith efforts, and I'm confident that he feels the same way about me. The one thing I do want to mention is that we're not going to have any Social Security cuts. Uh, at this stage, that just doesn't seem appropriate. We're open to dis discussion about entitlement reforms.
but we're going to have to take a different direction. The president's status will not work. We're willing to make difficult concessions as part of a balanced, comprehensive agreement, but we'll not agree to cut Social Security benefits as part of a small or short-term agreement, especially if that agreement gives more handouts to the rich. With 36 hours left until the country goes over the cliff, I remain hopeful but realistic about the prospects of reaching a bipartisan agreement. At some point in the negotiating process, it becomes obvious when the other side is intentionally demanding concessions, they know the other side is not willing to make. We are not there, Mr. President. So I hope that we're going to be able to go further. Right now, with the status negotiations, we are not where we could come forward and say, we have this for you. I, as I indicated, uh, and just to make another statement in that regard, at some point in the negotiating process, it appears that there are things that stop us from moving forward. I hope we're not there, but we're getting real close, and that's why I, I still hold out hope that we can get something done. But I'm uh, not overly optimistic, but I am cautiously optimistic that we can get something done. Okay, under the previous order, there are now under the previous order, there are now two minutes equally divided prior to a vote on the Galante nomination. Who yields time? Leader. Mr. President, I hope I made clear. I hope I hope I made clear we have one vote. That's all we have. I hope later in the evening we'll have another vote or two. But right now we don't have that. We have one scheduled vote, and that's taking place right now. But everybody should hang, lo hang loose, because we something may break and we'll be able to get something done. Who yields time? All time is yielded back. The question is on the nomination. Is there a sufficient second? There appears to be. There is. Appears to be. There is. Clerk will call the roll. Mr. Akaka. Mr. Alexander. Ms. Ayotte. Ms. Ayotte. Ms. Barrasso. Mr. Balkus. Mr. Beckage. Mr. Bennett. Mr. Bingaman. Mr. Blumenthal. Mr. Blunt. Mr. Bozeman, this is Boxer. Massachusetts, Mr. Brown of Ohio, 
Mr. Burr. Ms. Cantwell. <coughs> Mr. Cardin. Mr. Carper. Mr. Casey. Mr. Chamless. Mr. Coates. Mr. Coburn. Mr. Cochran. Ms. Collins. Mr. Conrad. Mr. Coons. Mr. Corker. Mr. Cornyn. Mr. Crapo. Mr. Dement. Mr. Durbin. Mr. Enzi. Mrs. Feinstein. Mr. Franken. Mrs. Gillibrand. Mr. Grassley. Mrs. Hagen, Mr. Harkin, Mr. Hatch, Mr. Heller, Mr. Hoven, Mrs. Hutchison, Mr. Inhofe, Mr. Isaacson, Mr. Johans. Johnson of Wisconsin. Mr. Johnson of South Dakota. Mr. Carey. Mr. Kirk. Ms. Klobuchar. Mr. Cole. Mr. Kyle. Ms. Landrew. Mr. Lautenberg. Mr. Leahy. Mr. Lee. Mr. Levin, Mr. Lieberman, Mr. Luger, Mr. Manchin, Mr. McCain, Mrs. McCaskill, Mr. McConnell, Mr. Menendez, Mr. Merkley, Ms. Mikulski, Mr. Moran, Ms. Murkowski, Mrs. Murray, Mr. Nelson, Nebraska, okay. Mr. Nelson of Florida, Mr. Paul, Mr. Portman, Mr. Pryor. Just regular water with ice things. <laughs> Mr. Reed of Rhode Island. Mr. Reed of Nevada. Mr. Risch. Mr. Robert. Mr. Rockefeller. Thank you. 
Mr. Rubio. Mr. Sanders. Mr. Schatz. Mr. Schumer. Mr. Sessions. Mrs. Shaheen. Mr. Shelby. Ms. Snow. Ms. Stabenow. Mr. Tester. Mr. Thune. Mr. Toomey. Mr. Udall of Colorado. Mr. Udall of New Mexico. <laughs> Mr. Vitter. Mr. Warner. Mr. Webb. Mr. Whitehouse. Mr. Wicker. Mr. Wyden. Senators voting in the affirmative. Akaka, Ayotte, Baucus, Beckage, Bennett, Bingaman, Blumenthal, Blunt, Boxer, Brown of Massachusetts, Brown of Ohio, Burr, Cantwell, Cardin, Carper, Casey, Coates, Coburn, Collins, Conrad, Corker, Durbin, Feinstein, Gillibrand, Graham, Harkin, Hoven, Isaacson, Johnson, Wisconsin, Johnson of South Dakota, Cole, Lieberman, Luger, Manchin, McCain, McCaskill, Menendez, Merkley, Mikulski, Murkowski, Murray, Nelson, Nebraska, Nelson of Florida, Rockefeller, Sanders, Shaheen, Snow, Tester, Thune, Udall of Colorado, Warner, and White House. Mr. Coons, aye. Senators voting in the negative. Barrasso, Bozeman, Cornyn, Crapo, Enzi, Hatch, Heller, Inhoff, Kyle, McConnell, Moran, Paul, Risch, Roberts, Sessions, Shelby, Toomey, Vitter, and Wicker. Mr. Wyden, aye. Mr. Lee, no. Mr. Johan, no. Ms. Stabenow, aye. Mrs. Hagan, aye. Mr. Levin, Mr. Levin, aye. Mr. Pryor, aye. 
Cochrane. No. Mr. Schumer. Mr. Schumer, aye. Mr. Udall of New Mexico, aye. Mr. Franken, aye. Ms. Landrew, aye. Mrs. Hutchison, aye. Mr. Grassley, no. Mr. Webb, aye. <laughs> Mr. Reed of Rhode Island, aye. Mr. Leahy, aye. Slobachar, aye. Mr. Schatz, aye. 
Mr. Rubio, no. Mr. Reed of Nevada, aye. Okay. Uh, are senators in the chamber wishing to? Uh, vote or change his or her vote. Hearing none, on this vote, the yeas are 69, the nays are 24. The 60 vote threshold having been achieved, the nomination is confirmed. Under the previous order, the motions to reconsider are considered made and laid upon the table. The President will be immediately notified of the Senate's action and the Senate will resume legislative session. Mr. President, I now ask unanimous consent to Senate recess subject to call of the chair. Without objection. The Senate stands in recess subject to the call of the chair. <laughs>